and I'm an art teacher with Artists for Kids in the North Vancouver School District. And today I'm going to share with you an artwork and an art activity from my own studio at home. So welcome. So the artist I'm going to talk about today is named Victor Jakansky, and he's a Canadian artist from the province of Saskatchewan. And he creates sculptures, mostly using bronze and clay. And in his art, he represents his life on the prairie. So he shows everything from fruits and vegetables and gardening tools like shovels to outhouses and even Volkswagen vans. And as you shall see, he brings a real sense of humor and playfulness to the artwork that he creates. And Victor Jakansky visited Artists for Kids a couple of years ago and worked with North Vancouver teachers and students at that time and shared with them some ways that he works with clay. So the artwork that I'm going to share with you today by Victor Jakansky uh, is about the process of canning and preserving food in jars like this one. This is a mason jar. So when you can food, you can preserve or save everything from fruit and vegetables to jams, different kinds of sauces. And when things are canned, they last for a really long time, even years. And so in the artwork that I'm going to share with you today, Victor Jakansky, he represents a jar of canned fish. So this artwork is really about a part of life that's maybe kind of boring, preserving and saving food. But as you shall see, Victor Jakansky shows this in a pretty playful way. So I'm going to share with you today a drawing activity that's inspired by this sculpture. And so in the drawing that we will create, you will think about preserving or saving some memories from your daily life. So the materials that you will need for this activity include a white piece of paper. I'm going to be using a thicker white piece of paper that is 11 inches by 14 inches in size. You'll also need another piece of paper or cardboard. This one needs to be even a bit thicker. And you could even use a recycled um, cereal box for this. You will also need a marker, a black marker, and if you don't have that, you could maybe use a black crayon or a black pencil crayon. You'll also need a pencil and an eraser, scissors, and some kind of art supply to add color to your artwork. So this could be paints, markers, pencil crayons, or crayons. But feel free to swap out any of those things and just use whatever you have around the house. Now take a look at this sculpture by Victor Jakansky called Fish Jar. What do you see? What creatures has Victor Jakansky represented here? And what kind of container are these fish in? Can you recognize the shape of the mason jar? And what do you notice about the shape of the jar? Are the sides smooth like glass? Or can you see how Victor Jakansky has shown the shape and textures of the fish expanding beyond the edges of the jar? And what are the fish doing at the top of the mason jar? Could you imagine canned fish escaping from a jar? So here we can see how Victor Jakansky brings playfulness and humor to the artwork that he creates. So the first thing that we're going to do for our drawing today is to create a stencil or an outline that we can trace of the shape of a mason jar. So you're going to need your piece of cardboard or uh, thick paper. And what you're going to do is draw the outline of the shape of a mason jar on this piece of cardboard and then you're going to cut it out. So I'll show you how I have done that. So this is another piece of cardboard. I um, drew the outline of my mason jar and then cut it out. And you are going to be tracing your jar three times on your big piece of paper. So before I drew my jar, I actually did a little bit of measuring to make sure that my jar would fit three times across my piece of paper. So once you've drawn your jar, cut it out, you are ready for the next step. Now I'm going to take the mason jar stencil that I drew and cut out and I'm going to trace it three times across my white piece of paper. And I'm going to do my best to space these jars out evenly. 
and I'm using pencil to do this right now. So I can always erase my lines later if I want to change anything or add anything. So here are my three mason jars. And next I'll think about adding a few details to my jars to maybe make them look a little bit more like jars, a little bit more realistic. So here's my lid of my mason jar. I'll add some details here at the top, showing kind of the top of the mason jar where you twist on the lid. Maybe I'll add some lines coming down kind of on the side to help it look a little bit more three-dimensional like that. And I'll add these kinds of details to all three of my mason jars. But each will look a little bit different. And last one. Here's my lid. Now I'm going to add labels to my mason jar. So usually when people can things, they like to put a label on the jar so that they know what is in there in case they ever forget. And they usually put the, the year, the date that they canned the, the thing so that they remember in the future what was in there and they make sure they eat it before it goes bad. So I'm going to add a couple different kinds of labels to my mason jar. Here's a different kind of label that I'll add on to this one. And here's a reason why using pencil is a good idea to begin with. I can erase some of the lines. So here's like a little uh, piece of paper tied on by string to my mason jar. Can fix up some of those lines later. And I will do another smaller label on this one. And now I'm gonna think about what am I going to put inside of these jars? What am I saving or preserving? Well, the first thing that I'm going to draw is a funny little tree that my two kids recently discovered in front of a neighbor's house. And I'm going to draw this in here because it's kind of a special memory for me. Um, this last little while where I've spent a lot of time at home, things have been different about my routine and some things have been challenging, but there have also been some really nice memories and things that have happened that I would like to preserve and remember and keep inside of these little jars that I'm creating. So this is my little tree. And so inspired by Victor Jakansky, I'm making the tree pop out the top of the jar. And so this was a little tree that is in front of one of my neighbor's houses um, along the sidewalk. And my children discovered it a couple weeks ago and they called it the Wonder Machine and spent a few afternoons playing inside the tree and imagining that it was a spaceship and a castle. And so it was a really nice memory for me sitting in the sun and watching my kids play in what they called the Wonder Machine. And it's a really weird and funny little tree. It's quite short and it has these weird kind of curving branches. And my kids liked it because they could sit on the branches and kind of bounce up and down on it. So as you can see, I have made my wonder machine, my tree, pop right out the top of the jar and out the sides of the jar, like how Victor Jakansky made the shape of his fish come right out of the sides of his jar. So here's a rough drawing of my tree and I'm also going to label this jar. I'm going to call it the wonder machine. So when I look back at this drawing, I'll know what I saved in here and I'll put April 2020, the month and 
the year. So once I have drawn something in each of my jars and I've written on my labels what they are, I'm going to take a black marker. And if you don't have a marker, you could use a black pencil crayon or a black crayon, something that will give you a nice dark line. And you can then draw over top of your pencil lines to help them to really uh, stand out. So here I've started to outline some of the first pencil lines that I created. And once I've done that, I could take my eraser and erase all the pencil lines that are left underneath. And once I have outlined everything, I am ready to move on to the final step, which is adding color. So here you can see I have finished my artwork. I have finished drawing objects in my other two jars. In this one here, I added some drawings of beach rocks that I collected with my children over spring break. We found some red and green rocks on the beach. And so I labeled this red and green beach rocks, March, 2020. And in this jar, I drew a blue ball of yarn because over the last weeks I've been working hard on knitting a blue toque. And I've really enjoyed sitting in the sun and quietly knitting at times. So I called this jar blue toque, April, 2020. And again, inspired by Victor Jakansky, I made my yarn pop out the the top of my jar and come out the side and so I used paint to add color to my artwork. What memories or stories do you want to preserve in your three jars and what objects will you draw in your jars to represent these stories? Creating this artwork has really helped me to think about some of the things in my life that I feel really grateful for right now. So that includes my family and the neighborhood that I live in. And it's also helped me to think about how I can share some of the stories from my life in the past couple of weeks. So once you've finished your artwork, you could give some thought to how you share the finished piece. And maybe that could be by displaying it in your house. I think the kitchen would be a very appropriate place to display this particular artwork, maybe on your fridge. And at AFK, we would absolutely love to see your finished artwork as well. And with the help of an adult, you could post it on Instagram using the hashtag AFK from home. Thank you so much for joining me today. And please do check back in the coming weeks for more videos from AFK.